It's the battle of the world's biggest menus. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. The Cheesecake Factory is probably a much bigger household name than BJ's Restaurant and Brewery, mm -hmm. but while there are slightly more than 300 Cheesecake Factory locations out there, BJ's has a little over 200 locations, which is nothing to slouch at, you know? Wow, 200 BJ's, think and about that. These two restaurant chains have one major thing in common. Oh. The bigness of big the menus. menus! Of course, listen, I mean, they still got them beat, not just on locations, but on menu, because I just opened this thing up and it's that, that that's a pamphlet, or more than a pamphlet, a book. This menu's so big, it's got advertisements for other things yeah, in it. Yeah, I don't have that, it's got pictures of things. Like a gift card to order from the menu later. Okay, for both of these uh, restaurants, there is such a random variety of foods, you could take your pickiest adult friend and know they're gonna find something to eat. Well, with 140 items on the BJ's menu and over 250 on the Cheesecake Factory menu, you're not gonna see me making a fuss, but who's the boss of the bulging menus? We got to declare one winner. It's time for Food Feuds, BJ's versus Cheesecake Factory. Okay, boys, each round you're gonna taste and rate similar foods from each restaurant. The restaurant with the highest total combined rating will win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. But they won't do it. <laughs> they always come through. We're starting off with a signature Italian classic, spaghetti and meatballs. On Rhett's side, we've got BJ's Spaghetti and Meatballs for twenty forty five, And on Link's side is Cheesecake Factory's Spaghetti and Meatballs for twenty two fifty. They look so similar. I mean, the meatballs themselves are the same. The only difference over here at Cheesecake Factory is like the blistered maters. Blistered? Blistered maters. Mm -hmm. um, slightly thicker spaghetti on this side. That's solid. I don't frequent BJ's. Um, I'm sorry. But um, you, well, you know how we feel about Cheesecake Factory. We're, we're fans. I'm gonna be really surprised if BJ's win, but. That was good. I'm I mean, open to BJ's. You should be. That's pretty good, that meatball. Very meaty and pretty bally, bally. You're still not over here. Got you took another bite over there? It's got plenty of flavor. Mm. I thought the meatballs were gonna taste exactly the same because they look exactly the same. Mm, 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 mm. But, just to get a little bit more of that meatball. Cheesecake Factory meatball tastes much more homemade. Yeah, it has, it has more stuff in it. It's like, not a lot of sauce on either um, noodle pile. They kind of mixed all the sauces in. They made exactly the same way. This um, isn't bad at no, all. No, not at all. Let me get one of those tomatoes because I do appreciate the addition of that. I'm gonna give the BJ's, I'm gonna give it a, you know what, I'm gonna give it a six. It's, it's still just spaghetti and meatballs. I just isolated the noodles and the meatball sauce. Meatball sauce, just okay. the marinara sauce. Okay. This is, sweeter than I like, and that, that's actually the right, that, that's a great flavor. I'm actually gonna give this a five now that I've come back to it. Okay. And I'm giving cheesecake a seven. I'm giving cheesecake one up from my six for BJ's. I'm gonna give it a seven. So we're pretty close, I still, yep. I'm, I'm seeing. Slight edge to the cheesecake. Okay, you've got some fish tacos this round. On Rhett's side is BJ's Fried Mahi Mahi Tacos for sixteen forty five, okay. and on links is Cheesecake Factory's Beer Battered Fish Tacos for twenty fifty. It came with a little lime. You want me to squeeze a little lime on you? Uh, sure, since it came with it. When you walk into a Cheesecake Factory, you have a certain feeling. What, what, what what's the feeling? It's like walking into a castle, man. Yeah, it's, it's, like, like, it's like walking into like a, it's like a non-pyramid shaped pyramid. It's so opulent. Yeah. Actually, Rick McCormick, was their former VP of design. He designed the place to feel like a high-end restaurant where guests will be surprised at the relatively inexpensive food. And then he went on, after leaving uh, Cheesecake Factory in the 90s, to design BJ's restaurants as well. No, he didn't. But then, all I feel, I just feel like it's a, just a, just a high-octane sports bar. Yeah, it's a totally different feel. These are actually not half bad. Link, since you've got so many fun facts over there about cheesecake. That is factory. good. It's actually really good. 
I've got a fun fact for you mm. that I want to give you to you about BJ's restaurant. The real, way I'm gonna, real crunchy. The way I'm going to format this fact is I'm going to say the answer to the two the following two things is the same. Okay. What okay. is the original name of the BJ's restaurant, and what do you not want to hear through your hotel wall? <laughs> Can I cheat by looking at the um, thing, or do you want? I want to tell you. Um, Can I just tell you? Yeah, tell me. BJ Grunts. BJ Grunts? BJ Grunts was the, the name? actual name of the first BJ's restaurant. Wow. And they only changed it because there was some legal battle with RJ Grunts. <laughs> there it is, a casual dining restaurant in Chicago, Which, RJ listen, Grunts. I'm an RJ, I read James. Do the math. You grunt? You do some grunting? That's we really do some good. dad grunting. Okay, now I'm seeing the difference here is we've got some guacamole. It's smaller strips, if not just one big strip. And I'm pushing it into the end so it's I can get It's a different kind of tortilla as well. Hmm. These are both really tasty. So good. Um, this one might actually, I'm trying to just taste the fish here for a minute. Just a minute. Hmm. This is pretty greasy. I love guacamole on my stuff. The BJ's one is a little bit greasy, but I didn't really think about that until I had this like lighter fried one of the... It's crunchier and it's more chipotle. Cheesecake. This is more expected and guacamole-y. Makes it really hard. That's a good fish taco. Both ways. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a seven. I'm gonna give it a BJ Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> one um, BJ Grunt. Coming right up. Dang man, yeah, that is that's a seven fish taco. And I'm, I'm I would say higher, but like I know what fish tacos can taste like. I mean, we're we're in Los Angeles. You can get some really really good fish tacos that are better than either one. Of these. So for Cheesecake Factory, what are you giving? I'm actually gonna give it a seven as well. I, I kind of wanted to go eight. I, I respect because I like the fish a little bit more, but I'm I mean, there's something about the flavor profile. I'm here. going down a notch. I'm giving this a six. Still very respectable, but. With the guacamole in it, I was expecting more, and it took too much away from the fish, which was a star over here. I stand by it. Seven. This is a starfish? A <laughs> yeah, it's a starfish. It's time for egg rolls. On yes. Rhett's side is BJ's Avocado Egg Rolls for fifteen forty-five, and on Link's side is Cheesecake Factory's Avocado Egg Rolls for sixteen fifty. One's a bigger egg roll. Yep. With the, a longer slice. They're both cut the same way, but like, yeah, you're getting like there's more of an angle on more these. of an angle from the cheesecake factory and the and the, there's like a these seems like a twice fried situation where these almost seemed yeah like a one time like this is or, smooth a smooth fry and I'm like doing a, the dip like a fortune cookie this is like a wonton hard fry and the dips are definitely different oh what's wrong with that dip it's not good man it's horrible it's like a what is that. It's a sweet tamarind dipping sauce, which in actuality is very close to how they describe the Cheesecake Factory one, which is tamarind cashew. I gotta eat one without the dip. That dip is horrible. It's got a, like a fishiness to it. Also, the egg roll's horrible. The egg roll is like bad. Objectively bad. Like what in the world? Like I can't, I can't bring myself to taste it again. Ah! Now I already have a, That's a travesty. special spot in my heart for the cheeseburger egg rolls. That yeah, you, you don't get any better than those. Oh, they're so decadent. And there's also the Southwest ones. You can get the sampler plate if you want and try them all. And I remember this sauce being pretty good. It is. It's so much better. It's amazing that they call them the same thing. That's a totally different sauce. The egg roll itself is better. I wouldn't feed that to the a dying dog that I hated. Well, you know why? Because dogs are allergic, or you know, it's toxic to them. Avocado is toxic to dogs. Really? Yep, so the right. dead dog would just go ahead and die. Right. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't give the dog a favor of speeding it along to death. Is what I'm saying. Um, I gotta give this it's a one. I gotta give it a one just because. I mean, there's like some nutritional value, right? Yeah. These one. are not nearly as good as the other two types of egg rolls you can get at Cheesecake Factory. Can right. we just be honest? Oh shoot, I got 
I'm actually gonna just give it a five. The sauce is, is the best part. Maybe if they were, you know, I know yeah. we, we get them as fresh as we can. They've gotten a logistically, little Logistically, but the, those hamburger ones, the cheeseburger ones, and then the Southwest ones are, with the black beans in them are just so much better than this. They are good though. They're good. All right, you're right. I'll stick with the five. I mean, yeah. Yeah, was that a BJ grunt? Uh, I guess it was. Hey, we made an episode of this show that turns out we can't put it on YouTube. That's right, we have made a banned episode of Good Mythical Morning, so we put it over on the Mythical Society. It's the 1,000 Years of Curse Words episode. The only way to see it legally is on the Mythical Society, but you can see it yes. for free. All it's, you gotta do is just sign up for an initiate account over there, but if you wanna watch zero the more, dollars. if you wanna watch the more, uh, which is curse words in other languages, you yep. need to sign up for first degree, second degree, or third degree, all degrees, mythicalsociety.com. We're putting banned stuff over there. You wanna, you wanna hear us say some naughty words? Go over there, mythicalsociety.com. Free. Okay, you got some some veggies going on ish in this round. Ish. And on Rut side is BJ's barbecue ranch salad for 1975, and on okay. Link side is Cheesecake Factory's barbecue ranch salad for 1950. Oh, well, this is one of those mix it I yourself. I got the same thing. So hold on, let me before you do that. Can I? Yeah, because that one's already mixed. I'm gonna do an onion lift minus the okay. Onion you do lift. A, you do a mix full mix. Maybe a mix and chop. Maybe I'll maybe I'll leave these over here. Oh, come on. And then maybe I'll... Can you chop those avocados and chicken up a little bit? Can you... Yeah. I just want to give it a fighting chance here. I kind of like the fact that it's deconstructed so that you can get your ratios the way you want it and you can pick off the things you Onions don't want. coming down? Onions coming down, yeah. Now, the thing about the BJ's one is it has barbecue sauce drizzled. I don't see that on the cheesecake I think it's side. just on the onion part. I don't know if... I mean, I care about that. So let me get rid of that. I would never order this. Great onion drop, by the way. Oh, I'm here all week. Um, okay, so a little. A whole lot of onions. Man, that is a lot of fried onion. Okay. I mean, who, yeah. has a, who has any business eating that much fried onion? It's hard to get a. Very barbecuey. Very fried oniony. Ranch is good. It's not good and it's not bad. Chicken is tender. Yeah, it's just, it just is. I mean, we we went into this with Cheesecake Factory being our favorite. I love what they're doing at BJ's, but we did a whole episode of our um, long running, super successful Food Network show, Inside Eats. Mm -hmm. We did a whole episode where we went behind the scenes at um, Cheesecake Factory to explore why and how their menu is so big. And we got to meet the head chef, we got to try some, they taught us how to make some stuff. Um, Did you learn anything? Uh, nothing that I retained. Um, so yeah, if you wanna watch that episode or all four whopping episodes of Inside Eats, it's on um, HBO Max, which is now just called Max, apparently. So if you already have that, you can watch Inside Eats. Everything at Cheesecake Factory is a little fresher. Mm -hmm. I, still don't, I just don't like this order, you know what I'm saying? The lettuce is not chopped as much. The um, the chicken. Let me let me. Like, who this. orders this? The chicken is bigger. I, don't, I just don't. I don't think I would like them. I'm just being honest. The person. With you. I'm saying I'm gonna log it. I'm gonna be like, eh, we probably don't have a lot in common. There's just so many things to get on the menu. If you get the barbecue ranch salad, but it's on both menus, so there must be a oh. demand for it, man. Yeah, it's America. You know, people got no taste. These onion straws are better at BJ's. I don't like either one. But this just tastes a little fresher. Right, I think there's a one point differential here. Three. Four. I agree. Three. Four. Mm. Oh yeah, give a big grunt for this round. Cause <laughs> this is the one, y'all. This is where they're both gonna shine. Steve, am I right? To head to head it. This is the pizuki? I was taken a little bit off guard, to be honest, with the little... giant grunt. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, Big old on BJ grunt. Red side, we have BJ's signature dessert, a chocolate chunk pizuki with vanilla ice cream for $8.95. And on link side is one of Cheesecake Factory's most popular cheesecake, Reese's peanut oh, butter chocolate is so good. cake cheesecake for 
Of course, we have tasted every cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory available to us on an episode of this show. The white chocolate raspberry, I believe, was the winner. This was in the top three, I believe, though. I'm gonna get some of this pizuki from the middle, and you can get a huge one, right? And a big shareable pizuki. This is like the individual. I believe it goes up to ten feet. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lot of fun. Have your friends gather around. I mean, you don't, you can't not like this. It's good. Can I get an amen? A big old cookie and ice cream somewhere else? Nah. Um. But is it called a pizuki, which is like the best name for a dessert on the planet? No. It's, it's all right, it's good, it's good. I just know how good this is. It's not as good as I hoped it would be. When you take it, when you pluck it out of BJ's. I'm coming on the backside here. I'm gonna go right from the front, but I am gonna add a little bit of that cream. Yeah. Uh -huh. yep. Dink it. And sink it. Hmm. Wow. If you go. Makes you shake a little bit, doesn't to it? To uh, the Cheesecake Factory, curls your toenails. <laughs> um, and then you bring back, you know how they have those like cheesecake to go containers, perfectly <clears throat> made with like a place for the dollop of the whipped cream. You bring that home and you're saying, you know what, I ain't mine there, but I thought of you and I brought you one back. That's why I still love my children. Because they do that for me. Right. They're caring. That's what keeps my love going. My unconditional love. Right. For my children. That increases a little bit when they do that. Every time nice they do you. that. Uh huh. Here's the problem with this round you know that BJ's is hurting when it's the dessert from the Cheesecake Factory that gives you the BJ grunts. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Yeah, you, you yes. know, you yes, know, you're, right. you, you, you're so right. You know, okay, okay, easy, easy, yeah. buddy. We well, don't want this to be a banned episode. Mythicalsociety.com, free. It's so good. It's just like, it's a masterpiece. I'm gonna give this a seven, just to be generous. I'll give it a six. And I'm not gonna hold back from a perfect tenor. Wow, you did it. Tenor. You did it. One zero, one zero, and this isn't even the best one. It is a perfect cheesecake though, you're right. 10, I'm gonna go there too, friend. Yes, we are friends, we <laughs> agree. So, where does that put us? Oh, it's a blowout. BJ's gets 46, you giving BJ's the blowout? Mm -hmm. Cheesecake Factory. 65. Cheesecake Factory, you have earned the right to sponsor Hey, an episode of this show. Uh, do you want to do that? I mean, we've already made a whole episode of television for you. A very successful television show. We were Food Network stars. Hey, more people watch this show. <laughs> so, you want to sponsor this show? Thank you for clicking that bell. What? You got so many BJ grunts going over there, you can't even speak. That was the BJ grunt version. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You got to show them that we can do this if they're going to sponsor. Okay, you know what time it is. I'm Ryan. And I'm Cheryl. And we're eating cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. While watching Rhett and Link try every flavor from there. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. In and you're bed. in bed. Yeah. <laughs> and don't leave that part out. It doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> Here we go. Click the top link to watch us analyze the cheesiest cheese themed gifts in Good Mythical Morning. And if I know where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Watch our fresh band episode of Good Mythical Morning for free at mythicalsociety.com and the more for first, second, and third degree.